Night at five, some very important and for some life saving services could soon be ending in Delaware County, prompting lots of people to voice their concerns. Good evening, I'm Dawn Timoney. Let's get out to our Kelly rule now with the very latest Kelly. Well, Dawn, a statement from the county today said they are in daily contact with Crozier Health leadership to try to achieve a, an outcome that is uh, not only fair to ownership, but that keeps those vital services open. Meanwhile, though, the clock is ticking and the worry is growing. It's been my life. It's been my career. It's been my family. Almost 42 years as a nurse with Delaware County Memorial Hospital, Angela Neopolitano says it's more than a job, and that's why she's devastated to see what's happening to a hospital that serves one of the largest municipalities in the state for almost a century. In my heart, I hope we're not closing, but in my head, I, I don't believe that they say we're not. Crozier Health announced more impending closures at DCMH and its three county hospitals if they do not receive some $24 million from the county in 90 days, setting ongoing impacts from COVID-19. Crozier's for-profit owner, Prospect Medical Holdings Incorporated in California, is in talks of selling the system to nonprofit Christiana Care Health System. The closures include substance abuse and addiction services at DCMH and Crozier Chester Medical Center starting in June, along with crisis services, according to this notice sent to staff. A Delaware County official says Crozier also threatened to terminate ambulance services known as the chase car to the county's lowest income municipalities. And it follows a slew of closures already in effect, including the maternity ward, ICU and surgery unit at DCMH, the inpatient hospice unit at Taylor Hospital, and the ER at Springfield Hospital. We're still seeing people coming into our emergency room that are in labor. We have to get an ambulance, and send them to another hospital. Minutes or lives. It's time for us to really consider whether healthcare should be a for-profit enterprise at all. A week after Delaware County Council approved an emergency ordinance requiring a 180-day notice to the county of any decision to close an entire unit of a hospital, officials said today they are in daily contact with Crozier trying to achieve a solution. State Representative Mike Zabel says they can't afford to lose a hospital. Once you shut things down, health systems and health services down, it's really difficult to get it up and running again. Now, it's important to note, according to the county, Crozier Health received $72 million in pandemic relief funds. We reached out to them about that, about how they're using that, and about the closures. We are still waiting to hear back. County officials also said in their statement today they are working with new and existing providers to ensure that there will not be any gap when it comes to those very important mental, behavioral health, and addiction treatment services. Don. All right, Kelly, thank you.